Well, with distance learning in full effect, internships are starting to look a lot different for college students, which is why when we heard that one of Sacramento's very own was selected into the prestigious Television Academy Foundation's annual internship program, we had to have her on. Joining us now is Sacktown native, former Whitney High School Wildcat, and currently a junior at Penn State University, Cindy Chen. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Aubrey. Thank you for having me. So you've been chosen as a fellow for the Television Academy Foundation Summer Internship Program. Tell us a little bit about the program. So this internship program was brought on by the Television Academy Foundation. The foundation is a part of the Television Academy, and they provide internship programs, educational and outreach programs as well. With this program, about 50 interns are selected from across the country, and we are placed into different categories within the realm of television. Oh, wow. Well, this sounds pretty interesting. So this year's fellowship obviously had to be a little bit different because of the pandemic and quarantine status. How has your experience been? Honestly, it's been so great for me. Obviously, it's kind of sad that we can't be out in LA doing hands-on stuff. Personally, I was selected for the production management internship, and obviously I cannot be doing that you know, from home. But the foundation has put together a great curriculum for all of us with a lot of professional development events, panels, um, networking sessions. It's honestly so great. So what have you been learning? What's been your, I guess, standout moment or favorite thing that you've learned as a fellow? Absolutely. So we've been invited to a bunch of panels. A few of my favorites are by Gina prince bythewood and Mara Brocka-Kill. They talked about um, rising up in the industry. Gina herself was an alumni of the internship program. So seeing her, you know, she was once in our shoes and now she's all the way up succeeding in the television business. It's very empowering. And as somebody who's always heard no's in the entertainment business and getting my first yes with this internship program, it's so inspiring. Yeah, very cool. And those are some pretty big names that you mentioned. So I'm sure that um, they had a lot of advice and, and, and stuff that you could learn from. Now, you are a Sacramento native. You went to Whitney High School out there in Rockland. Did you develop yes. your interest in TV while you were working there, uh, while you were there? It definitely was a very big part of it. I was on the broadcast journalism like team out there, so I was a part of WCTV 19, and that taught me a lot about productions and a lot of the challenges that students face when they learn about the television industry, for sure. And you mentioned you've gotten a lot of no's, I guess, um, as you're in college trying to get your foot in the door, but you got a yes for this fellowship. Uh, what was that yeah. process like? Did you have to apply multiple times, or how did that go down? Absolutely. So I actually heard about this program from one of my friends who is also a TV production major and she told me about it and I was so intrigued. I applied my sophomore year. That was a life changing moment for me because it was the first time I heard a response from a company and they put me on the finalist list for this particular internship. And although I didn't end up getting the uh, position itself my sophomore year, I was determined to try again and I got the finalist again for this internship and somehow I ended up getting the actual internship. Yeah, well here we are, there you are, that's really awesome. You were one of 50 that was selected um, out of a lot of applicants, so I can tell that you know, you're know feeling good. Do you have any advice for others who, who maybe hope to follow in your footsteps and, and achieve um, status in a fellowship like that one? Absolutely. Don't ever give up. If you are so passionate about something, go for it. Network with as many people as you can. This industry is all about networking, and that's just the most important thing I've personally learned out of all of these sessions. And Cindy, so where do we go from here? What do you think? And you still want to work in TV? Uh, do you know exactly where you want to go? For sure. I hope to post-graduation uh, move out to LA and start building my career from there. Really? That's really great. And I'm sure this has been an awesome networking opportunity. Well, we wish you the best. Um, as I said, I know it's been a little bit different doing things virtually. And as you continue your education, things there are probably a little bit abnormal, unusual, uh, as it would be in normal times. But uh, we appreciate you joining us and sharing some of your story. Thank you. So to get your TV start, you can visit emmys.com foundation.